We're going to be spending the next 36 hours aboard this ferry to Alaska with our own private room, shower, delicious meals in the dining hall, and more. So let's go explore what this ferry has to offer, check out some of the behind the scenes of how it works, and enjoy the beautiful views. Time to get comfy and let's set sail. All right, we're here. The Columbia. It's a big boat. I'm very excited about this. That's a big ferry. This looks like all the services that they have to offer here. We're gonna be taking the Alaska Ferry. It's a cozy little terminal. There's the boat. It's like a little airport or something. I guess ferry terminal. A little tiny museum. Oh, yeah. Oh. Examine our shop over on C Street. Uh, oh. I'll have to get you out the compass. The yeah, that the, that's the history of that. Got my ticket. I think we're gonna start boarding around three or four, they said. A little fish and chips. All right, and we're going on. I'm excited. I'm getting to go on couple hours before we depart so I'm gonna be able to check it out pretty cool oh wow they're like lifting up cars stairway to the upper deck oh this is awesome we are officially on our ferry the next time we touch land will be Alaska I have no idea where anything is. Here's a map. Alright. Room 130. We got our key. Let's go find our room. This is it. Oh. <laughs> this is sweet. All right, welcome to room 130 on the Columbia. Let's do a little bit of a, a room tour. I am here. I'm right in the, in the belly of the ship. I'm happy I'm on the edge because I have a window. I didn't think I was gonna have a window. Oh, look at that. I'm so excited. Wow, I got a, I got a chair. I got a little like coat rack area, a little storage just where my bag will go. Got a sink, water, very good. Got a mirror, some outlets, multiple outlets. There's some storage underneath, some uh, TP, some towels, a cup and a couple soaps, which is nice. Have a little waste bin. There's a couple lights. This light is for over the sink. We also have two beds. It's a bunk bed situation. It looks like we have temperature control. There's a little coat hook on the door and there's a light switch by the door. If we hit that, it turns on the main room light. And then behind this biohazard door is, here we go, a toilet and a, a massive shower. All the doors are like spring loaded to close, probably because the ocean or something. Whoa. This is gonna be fantastic. All right, let's go explore.
this is the main area. Looks like they have some books. Just some cabins. Some interesting door. There's an elevator. Let's take a boat elevator. Interesting, there's like uh, steps to practice rock climbing. I guess this takes it down to the base level. Up we go. Should have known. <laughs> it says right here. Cabin deck six. We got stairs everywhere. There's an ice machine. Showers. Looks like they got laundry machines. Sinks. And it looks like uh, showers if you don't have a room. No, oh, it's not bad. They got a little changing area. And then you got the shower. They also sell softener. There's like restrooms kind of hidden everywhere. All right, we're just gonna try it. Oh! -ho. got like a big viewing window here we'll go check that out it looks like that's probably where the cafeteria or diner is and we can see cars are being filled up in the boat they're putting in a bunch of cars because you can take your car your RV you can take Pretty much any big vehicle with you, probably except the semi truck. I feel like we're the only one on the boat right now. I'm happy I gotta go on early. It looks like this is the dining area, which we'll check out. like a big emergency boat up there looks like the crew is only allowed there that would be cool if I could go there though all right let's see if we can get in Whoa. big moose got some vending machines some bears oh it's like uh, airplane seats Nice big windows. Very cool. It's gonna be some beautiful views. It's funny, it's just like a seating area, like a movie theater, except you just enjoy the views. Oh, it looks like you can also close these, and make the whole thing dark. Got the fish. stairs look pretty cool. I feel like I was just here. Oh wow. There's a whole bunch of lockers here. And then look at this. Is this like a movie theater? Pretty comfy seats. It looks like there's some stuff there. I guess people will probably sleep here. And maybe they'll show movies. Big TV. And they got two of them. Now let's go find this. Some little dining tables, couch, a bunch more chairs. Got some really nice views.
cool. I like the little tables. It looks like a playroom. Well, that's nice to have it. Let's go find the dining room and snack bar. Snack bar. Some snack stuff. water, a bunch of soda, probably some hot food here. They got a microwave. Have you worked here for a while? Yeah, a long time. How many I've years? I've worked here for 24 years. Oh man, look at this. This is a dining room. This is fancy. Yeah. Are you a chef? No, this week I'm the boss. One of the bosses. Okay. So this is like the waiter station here. All right. This is kind of a mess right now, but this is where the cooks serve out there. I'm sure it gets very busy. Go to try. <laughs> this is the main hub of the galley. So we've got the dish plate over in the back there. Oh, okay. We have pots and pans over here. Very cool. Get tents, I can sleep. Tent, set up a tent down there. That's what someone was saying that a right bunch there. of people come and lay out tents. Mm -hmm, Does right. it happen in the winter, like now? Yeah, if you got set up, probably you could. Yeah, but not many people do in the winter. No, that'd be fun though. I'd love to take it again in the summer and do yeah, that. Yeah. He was very nice. He showed me all around. Key. Some really nice dining tables. Definitely gonna have dinner here. Let me just close. Alright, let's go find our room again. Alright, where are we? We're 130. So look at this. 129. 131. It appears my room is missing. That feeling when you can't even find your room because the boat's so big. <laughs> How can I not find it? I found it. So apparently on the other side of the boat is 2931 and on this side is 30. I don't know why they alternate like that, but uh, I found it. Home sweet home. That was really nice to be able to walk around the whole boat with like no one on it. Something I want to say is like the bathroom, the room, everything is super clean and spotless. Like I don't see dust or garbage or anything like that here. Oh. It's nice and comfy. I'm so happy I have a window. Never been to Alaska, never been on a ferry this big. cool to come down here at night. I think that's the last vehicle coming aboard. A massive RV. It's crazy this thing can hold that. They're closing up the gate. It's going to be real soon now. seem to be raising the platform. Got a train in the background over there. I can definitely feel the boat rumbling a little bit. All right. 
looks like we're moving. You can see my shadow there. Bye bye, Bellingham. <laughs> to the room for a little while the diner opens 6 6 30 alaska time so it's about 5 20 right now so we'll go check that later diner let's get some food a little dessert for later a little banana cream pie dinner was really good to be honest I had the salmon meal and they said it was a special salmon and it was really tasty now we got a lot of time to just relax I think I'm probably gonna go walk around maybe go try to take some pictures off of the dock the deck the, the outside and just see what's happening lights over there. There's like three clusters that look like they're just floating. I'm like the only one outside right now. <laughs> no one else wants to be here. And up there is the dining cart and I just had my dinner like right up there. Can't really see much of anything this way. I'm definitely starting to figure out the layout of this ferry.
amazing. Can't see much of anything out the window now. I don't feel any bumps or movement at all. The train ride to get here was way bumpier. Kind of interesting. Here we go. I heard it activate and I do feel some air coming out. Should heat up. I also noticed on the bathroom door, I was wondering what this is and that. I thought it was just a bump stop, but it's, it's a magnet. It holds it open. Because if not, all the doors close by themselves. The shower was fantastic. Nice hot water. But yeah, really nice refreshing shower. relaxing in my bed and it's honestly very comfy and I'm happy it came with uh, sheets and a pillow. I wasn't 100% sure if it did to be honest and I'm happy that it did. I'm on a ferry to Alaska. I never would have guessed I'd be on a ferry to Alaska but I'm very happy and excited about it and I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm very tired and I'm going to get some good sleep and we're going to get up early and go down to uh, the dining hall or I guess up to the dining hall. And I think they start serving breakfast at 7, so I'm going to get some sleep, and I'll see you then. Good morning. I slept really well. It's actually really comfy wasn't bumpy or rocky at all it's almost around seven and they start serving breakfast at seven so i want to go ahead get up walk around the ship and make a way to get some breakfast it's very gray outside very foggy looking but we can see some land way over there you to go in the dining room on the other side. Let's take the solarium to get to the other side. Nice and dry here. on the Columbia. It was built in 1974. <sighs> Pink. 
cakes. <laughs> and I got a side of French toast. I couldn't decide between them. <laughs> Very good. The boat's starting to rock around a little bit now. I think I figured out the layout of the ship now. We definitely are in some more open water now and the boat's definitely rocking quite a bit. Doesn't bother me. But it's just interesting <laughs> walking around. Way in the distance though, there is a small, or I guess <laughs> there's a large cargo ship. It just looks very small. Looks like it's starting to clear up a little bit out there. Let's go walk around outside a bit. It's funny, <laughs> I'm like moving back and forth. <laughs> There's a note left on my door it's telling me to come by around 12 15 so hopefully we're able to go see the bridge oh. is this the main steering wheel how do you know where you're going at night? I can get a radar, so then you're looking at the topography and you can get like a parallel index yeah, line, so as long as this is lined up correctly on a certain point of land, then you know you're on course, you know a certain distance off that you want to be. So our course right here, water loaders, right over just on the whole pilot. That's wild. Sailed offshore a little bit when I'm like, you know, like the Pacific Ocean, like South China Sea, and uh, like now I'm doing ferries. So. That's such a cool About word. Feet underneath the keel right now, it's pretty deep. How deep are we? We are just kind of rocking. It's, deep, it's pretty deep out there. We're yeah. just exposed to the ocean, so we're not protected like we are right now. So then you'll actually get some spill. Gotcha. Got a Portland right now. I'm sure when this boat was made, it had no screens and all that. No, it's all it was weird. probably it's very like different. It's you know, analog. Yeah. <laughs> that stuff's probably a couple, like, four decades ago. And then we got newer stuff that's, you know, 
this was just installed in the last couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, it's constantly being updated. Mm. Yeah, it's a twin screw. So, twin screw. So you use uh, the them sort of back and forth. They were on day 31 of their 45 day kayak trip. First time I ever had to look out for icebergs. <laughs> That's right. So, so cool in there. It's so cool. I'll spin this dial and uh, my course will come up here and the ship will turn. Really? So you spin that one, not the big one. But I can steer by this. I just got put a hand steer and then I steer by this here. Like when we did that big right turn earlier, was it with this guy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Big, big turns that you should go and steer that fire out. Okay. Can I touch the wheel? Sure. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Thank you. can't believe I got to touch the steering wheel for the ferry. <laughs> Very cool. I think it's time to go find some lunch. relaxing in the bed right now after having some wonderful lunch. I did put in a inquiry to see the engine room so fingers crossed we'll be able to go in there as well. quiet in here. Yeah. Nice armadillo. <laughs> yeah. That guy's been here for over 20 years. Yeah, so uh, it's basically where we control the main engines right here. I gotta see the bridge and this looks like the thrusters they have up there. Yeah, so uh, the bridge has uh, matching heads so we can actually transfer control between the bridge in one of the stations and down here. Really? So so sometimes you guys are controlling the thrust. Yes, at least once a week we'll do uh, emergency control tests. So we use these uh, engine order telegraphs here, so they'll give us a command, and then we can, you know, based on the command, they give us like slow ahead, for example, which would be, you know, pitch control of two. So we would 
take these from whatever pitch setting that the bridge had it on, take control from the bridge, and then move it based on what they want us to do. So. Very cool. Uh, over here, Holy moly. this is our panels for each diesel generator, three, two, and one. So those yellow ones are the generators for the electricity? Yes. They have nothing to do with moving the boat? Yep. So this is just one generator right here. 530 amps? 350 kilowatts. That is cool. Yeah, the oh, diesel wow. generators are original to the ship. The they main engines are newer. Like, what is that, fuel or air? Yeah, we've got uh, fuel on the left side, and then we've got our drinking water on the right. That is really cool. That's good. Super lucky being able to go to the bridge and the engine room and now just enjoying a beautiful sunset on this wonderful ferry. see if I can see some stars outside. I think it's too cloudy to see any stars tonight. for the night. Yum. Very good. So here's the map. We started right here in Bellingham and we went all the way up to right here and we're taking like the intercoastal so like we're going in between these crazy passageways <laughs> which is surprising you think a big boat like this would just like go around and we're going to right here Ketchikan we still have a little bit left to go a third of the journey a little bit less than a third of the journey and we're probably gonna arrive there around 7 in the morning or so it might be before people were saying but yeah, I'm just gonna relax now. It's a shame I couldn't see the stars outside. It's just too dark and a little bit cloudy, I guess. It was a beautiful day. Had a wonderful time exploring the ship, the bridge, even the engine room. Fantastic, the staff was amazing. Uh, the food here was great. I just had dinner as well. Caesar salad with shrimp, very good. And something you do have to keep in mind is there is long stretches where you won't have service. But yeah, just gonna relax, enjoy the rest of the night, and then in the morning we're gonna be in Ketchikan. It's been a wonderful 
adventure and I hope you're enjoying it with me. Well, I am tired. It's been a long day, but a wonderful day and I'm ready to catch some sleep and I'll see y'all in the morning. This is us on the ferry, and Ketchikan is right here. So we're a lot closer than I thought we'd be right now. So it looks like we're gonna arrive pretty soon. I got all my gear ready. It's just starting to turn a little bit light outside. Someone came by and knocked on the door, letting us know we'll be there in about a half hour. It's starting to be a little bit sun out there. Let's go see what we can see. Thanks for the stay, Room 130. You've been good to me. See ya. Last time walking around the ship today. is the ferry rode in on. It was a wonderful time riding it here at the last marine highway. It was such a blast. Really clean, really good food, and it was comfy the whole time. And now we are in Ketchikan, Alaska. It's a beautiful small town, actually the first town in Alaska. It's got some snow-covered mountain peaks, a bunch of fog covering it. Looks pretty magical. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more stuff like this. And I want to say thanks for coming on this journey with me, and I'll catch you all in the next one.